So we sold our old motorhome. We're going down to San Diego to pick up the new one. We're gonna camp for a week, celebrate our anniversary, and then head home with our new motorhome. Hey, we're starting our journey to get the new motorhome. And we have a nice little setup for Sissy. She's not a big traveling fan. He just checked everything. Check. Okay, good, good job. And um, away we go. Come on, sis. There you go, girl. You're wearing a dress. Don't you cry no more. Baby, it doesn't have to be like that. So that's all we have to do is wait for her to scream herself to sleep. A Mesa rec van. That must be it. Oh, rec van. There it is. Is that it? No, that's <laughs> classy. Idiot. Okay, so we're walking around, walking around. Do you think, do you think that's it? Looks too big, honey, can't be it. Just taking a pee. They're prepping it for delivery. Uh, they're about ready to present the car. Okay. A new RV to us. <gasps> Let's go check it out. <laughs> Is that James? It's James. What? That is... Thank you. The bow. Wow. That's how you do it. That's worth the drive down. <laughs> We're having our little outside discussion yeah, yeah. Yeah. about what's yeah. happening, if there's any problems, how to do stuff. You have your awning controls, and the rest of these are light switches. And you can also dim your refrigerator lights from here, in the too. World. Very nice. And you can start installing your generator from up here. Your water tank levels are up here. You have light switches up here. It's beautiful. You have your AGS system right here. This tells you your battery levels for the RV and the engine. Uh, you turn the water heater on here. A lock on the resident here. The refrigerator. Um, you can also start and stop your generator here. So there's a lot of redundancy. The televator goes down like so <laughs> because that's just bitching. No other point to it. Sick. Getting rid of that. Um, I think then I guess we're done. Yes. So exciting. So crazy. There's our new motorhome. This is exciting. We're gonna go pack it up, pull it stuff at the grocery store, and get some stuff unpacked out of here. At the light, it. use the left and two lanes to turn into the parking lot. Chula Vista, KOA for the night. Shake down. Woo! Good job, babe. That's scary, babe. <laughs> is this a place for kids? Let's go. It's our shakedown cruise. All right, that's all the okay, Yellow will do. It's a kid's paradise. <laughs> oh, look at this. How cute. Oh my God, this is adorable. What is happening? Wow, that's nice. Oh, hello. Why don't you come on in? This is the second chance motorhome. We've had people wanting us to do a little bit of a tour. Got a little bit comfortable for our first, put my glasses on, for our first little shakedown. We're in Chula Vista at KOA, right? And it's obviously a kid's park. But over here we have our dining room area. And there's storage in here in these compartments. This is a slide out that comes out in its own little cubby hole. This is the coolest. So this is our televator. It's a 50 inch TV, right babe? Yep. And um, again, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just cool. So we have storage there. We have our up lighting, just like the other one. Same with our little um, bunk that's remote control. We have the um, blind that comes down, so we don't have to do curtains or anything crazy like that. 
I wasn't a fan of this color, but it's growing on me. This is a Dover gray or something like that. But this is out of here. We already have our buttery, delicious, um, luxury loungers. So as you're sitting here, then you've got your little 50 incher right there. Right. And then this is the kitchen. This is farmhouse white with the weird southwestern uh, valances throughout. <laughs> Don't quite know why, but whatever. And what's that? red thing down there that red thing is to keep <laughs> tiffy from coming out so our cat likes to find little looks and crayons so to hide we in. have all of our like um noodles cut and placed perfectly um really good storage extra storage space and stuff we need to get more of our little plastic bins and command hooks and like do it like we did our other one this is interesting this is a um residential refrigerator in a little motor home so it's like 24 cubic feet which is like three times bigger than our old rv refrigerator. and it has an ice maker i already took all the ice out there's one right there i got it <laughs> it's going right there okay oh don't look at the baskin robins <laughs> yeah i wanted to lente that it had horrible flavors Bacon. what are you gonna do Try to lots of meat ribeyes healthy stuff throughout come with me okay so we shouldn't show this or should we sure all right <laughs> we decided to put the cat pan in the shower ew but it's got this cool rug that when she throws sand out we open up the rug and you shake it back into the thing and it doesn't go down the sink or anything so a really nice size shower so the cat can take a dump while it showers <laughs> <laughs> Poor Thiffy. And then come with me. This is a little tight squeeze, but I like that the shower is not in the same room as the bathroom. Please don't look at this disaster. I haven't put my crap away, but it's an upgraded porcelain toilet and it's got more storage, more cupboard space. We need our little cubbies. We need our little baskets. Right. And then this closes to block it off so you don't have everybody peeping at you while you're showering. Right. And so we're going to get one of those hanger things. You put your towels and stuff to dry them and all that. Oh, you just turned that on. And then like this that. thing is really fancy. We're still learning how to do all this automation stuff. Kind of don't know what we're doing. That's all right. This is what we really wanted so after our 27 footer 26 footer 28 footer yeah <laughs> the same brand um we did not have all this magnificentness so we have a king bed now we have two um wardrobe closets and then we have all the drawers and stacy's says his closet is actually bigger than one in a <laughs> Watch out, honey. Sissy's right there. So we have Sissy in her carrier. She won't come out. She likes hiding in there. Sissy? It's actually a really nice spot for her. So we have like the faux wood um, headboard, but we want to get a thin, like a padded headboard to go back there. And we got more cabinet space here. We have a door here that slides and cuts this off so that our guests can use the bathroom and everything without having to disturb us. And more Southwestern weird um, balances, right? But welcome, I'm loving it. Once we get it all like tweaked. And you got enough room there you could dance. <laughs> no, we'll see mom, mom's gonna come. And she's going to sleep like on the couch stay. there. And she'll sleep on this couch. It actually pulls all the way out to like a twin bed. So it's a little bit bigger than a jackknife. And it has padding stuff. And our captain's chairs. And that's it. That's the tour of a brand new motorhome. It's about three Ooh. or four hours old. Three or four hours old. We're pretty exhausted. But um, love this place. But, but look at the blue. It's the blue. And then See. what happens when you turn one on? It's like it tells you it's <gasps> on. So. <Done. gasps> yeah. Perfect. Let the camping begin. Yay. So here's the outside of our setup. We have a Jeep Trailhawk that we tow behind. 
the motorhome. And this is our new motorhome, about four hours old, Precept 31 UL 2022. Has a slide out, one slide out on the right side and two on the left. Put these little noodles here so I know exactly where to go to bang my head. Lots of storage underneath. It's got the big Michelin tires and bigger wheels. Rides really nice. There's Kelly. Hi, Kel. Here's the outside entertainment center. The back end. Here's the bedroom slide out and the living room slide out. First meal in the new motorhome. It's got to be something fancy. No, it's hamburger helper. Hamburger helper? We're so tired. I've been in the same outfit for three days. I'm sure people are sick of the same pictures. Same Why don't you change? Hamburger helpers clutch, brown turkey, lasagna, done. Done, done, done. done. In this one <laughs> You told me not to pack a bunch of crap. You did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> Ow! I wake up with scabs. <laughs> my cheeks on my head. Sissy! bad and it's embarrassing. Sissy's um, enjoying the um, show. All right. Good job, San Diego KOA Resort. Wow, it looks beautiful. Can't wait to spend five days in Campland on gorgeous Mission Day. See the fireworks and all the kids playing. Having barbecue. Breakfast to the Partridge family. Misty's looking for birds. Where's the crow, Sissy? When she's scared of everything. <laughs> scared of everything. Galley, little hash browns for breakfast. Nice morning. Oh, bingo's on Wednesday too, honey. Bingo, yay. <laughs> and we're going to head out, ride our bikes around Mission Bay. So bike riding along uh, Mission Bay here. Yeah. And a little foggy today, but beautiful temperature and everything. When uh, Kelly and I started dating in uh, about 1986, this is the pad I lived in. My roommate, Party Barty. Beautiful place on the beach. We used to have a sailboat on the beach, a little Hobie cat, and then also ski boat. So on windy days, we go sailing. On uh, calm days, we go skiing. So we met the uh, Miramar Naval Air Station Top Gun Bar back when the Top Gun movie first came out, like in 90, 1986. We ended up getting engaged at the Coronado Hotel Del Coronado. Yes. And married on a cruise ship in San Diego Bay. So there's a lot of history here in San Diego when we miss it. And it's kind of fun to come back and visit. Or and stop this around. place is for sale. For sale? <laughs> oh. Shoot, maybe we should buy it. And then we'll relive it all over again. But Whoop. remember, honey. Yeah. We were apart for like 15 years. So this is our 15 year wedding, wedding anniversary, anniversary extravaganza. <laughs> so we're gonna go through all of our old memories. Hey, you're gonna Yay. have dinner at where we got uh, engaged here in a few at days. At the Hotel Del. Yeah. So you think we should buy it? Yes. Mow it down and park our RV there? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. All right, that's what we're doing. You're just not quite as well versed in RV life as we would hope. She'll get there. Lame little grill because we had to pack everything into the Jeep when we came down to get the new RV. But we have a special guest tonight. It's oh, Kelly's mom, Dory. 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 Thanks for joining with us here. Oh, my pleasure. It's been a, so much fun. Yeah, it's quite a spacious campsite here. <laughs> spacious. <laughs> okay, we've got this big area for our bikes. <laughs> And we're right here by the grill of the car. <laughs> it's a Jeep. We're watching the fireworks. Fireworks. So SeaWorld puts out fireworks every night over Mission Bay in the summertime. Oh my god, is this already the finale? Mm -hmm. well, here it is.
Campland party land. No, Zizzy. Now what are we doing, Kel? Are you there? Kansas City barbecue. Tough gun bar. Tough gun bar. So what happened at this bar back in 1985? This is where they did the piano scene. Yeah. With Balls of Fire, with a Goose, Maverick, and oh, Kelly yeah. McGillis, oh, yeah. and a little boy. Uh, thank you! <laughs> Tom, stop it. Okay, so what do you think is good to order here? Oh, really the chicken? You don't want to get the ribs? All right, well, I'm getting a big fat beer. What are you going to get? A hot dog? Tom, you're too much. Try to guess what song Kelly picked for the Finger jukebox. Bone. Oh, they got a guess? <laughs> Thank you, Tickling the ivory. Tickling the ivory. <laughs> Great balls of fire. That's all we know. That's all we know. After about a week of having the new RV, I thought we'd go through a few of our likes and dislikes. I like the big windshield. Um, I was going to add a rubber rain gutter above the windshield to keep uh, moisture from dripping down the center of it. Uh, that really helped out from the old RV and this, I'm going to do the same thing to the new RV. I like the, uh, all the new storage. We've got some big storage compartments. The new uh, tires are Michelin and the wheels are larger, so a lot better ride. I like slide outs on both sides, makes the living room much bigger. One little thing on the screen door, minor thing, we're going to add a little handle right here that we had on the old RV, which uh, really helps out. Then you're not having to pull on this little plastic handle and maybe break it off. I like the uh, rear bumper because you're able to use this to store the stinky slinky. No lawyer in this area, lady. Felipe is my favorite place for lasagna in Pacific Beach. And Kelly got a meatball. The place hasn't changed a bit. Big meatball. So crazy out there. Really crazy. Beautiful PB. We love it here. It's so nice. If she doesn't spin fast enough. My backpack got caught on my bike. Oh. <laughs> I almost spilled the lasagna. <laughs> no, I spilled the lasagna. Flashback. Maybe. Well, we're at Camp Land still, and today's our anniversary. And almost got some sleep last night. We tried to keep her out, but she's not having it. Stacy's showering. We're gonna go to the Hotel Dell today or tonight. I guess we have reservations he proposed so it's already a great day that airplane's got a poop coming out of its butt aircraft carrier midway here in San Diego Hotel Del Coronado. Why are we here? This is where you proposed to me. It was That's right. Oceans 1500. That's right. And now it's Saria. 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 Yeah. That's it. As expensive as the drinks are, I'll eat the flower. Yeah. Get your money's worth. You're like a hummingbird. <laughs> Oh my God, so we walked all the way over here to try to find the secret bar, the hard deck bar in the new Maverick Top Gun. So we're at North Island, walked all the way down the beach, all the way from down there. Stacy's peeing over there, but he's trying, it, everything's supposed to be surveillanced. So, no. This is warning, U.S. property of the Navy. 
it's still cool. I kind of just pretending it really happened and we really found it, but we really didn't. At least it was a romantic walk with my husband over there peeing by the trash can. <laughs> Morning, campers. Slides are in. Stacy's uh, putting up the Jeep, getting the Jeep loaded up on the back with the tow bar. There he is. So we're getting ready to leave Camp Land. Been good to us. It's a good place for kids. You guys ought to get here um, with your kids. And then I got my Top Gun shirt. From um, honey, you should make it show the back. Show the back how cute it is. It's really cute. From Kansas City Barbecue. Now it's a Top Gun bar thing. What's out there, babe? It's the uh, Pam Anderson of, uh, of Power Plants. Pam Anderson of Power Plants, but it's not open anymore, right? No, it's not. So those jug juggies aren't going to explode or anything, are they? I hope not. So we're gonna wrap this up. We uh, are we're back from our trip and we've been home for a couple days just doing some work around the RV, trying to get it up to shape. And we're gonna get it ready to take a trip uh, around the country in the United States here next spring. So there's a number of upgrades we're gonna make to the new RV. But basically, we love the new RV. I think the upgrade was warranted. Uh, bigger bathroom, bigger bedroom, more storage. There's uh, always give and take, give and you take. know, so found a couple of negatives, but nothing to compare to the positive. Overall, very positive. And I really like the way this one drives too. The extra four foot wheel, wheelbase really uh, makes it much more drivable on the freeway, not so twitchy and everything. Some of the upgrades we've done in the last couple of days is putting in this new uh, love seat, theater seating. Uh, really love this thing. It's buttery soft leather lines so that we can relax in our glamping and watch TV <laughs> and I'm working right now on uh, installing a sound bar which makes a big difference on the sound and just kind of doing little knick-knack things around the, the RV. Um, Kelly's been organizing the kitchen, she just got some new headboards for the bedroom those little gray headboards just give a little padding when we lean up against the wall. I love that. I think it really upgrades it a lot. Put a mirror on the door. Love the shower separate from the bathroom. That's a big bonus. I added a little uh, swivel to this so that we can move that around a little bit. Oh yeah, that's good. Kind of and I added a, uh, a pillow in the skylight just to kind of keep it cool on hot days. So lots of stuff like that. Anyways, we're going to bore you with everything, every little detail. But just overall, we uh, enjoy the new RV. We're excited for our new adventures and hope you'll join us in some more fun trips. Yay!